29 August 2022 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bab Dada Madhuban Sweet children you have to show revel means the father through your divine sweet behavior give everyone the father's introduction and enable them to claim a right to their inheritance question what are the signs of children who are soul conscious answer they are very sweet and lovely they follow shrimat accurately they never make excuses about doing any task they always say ha ji means yes surely they never say no whereas body conscious people think that they would lose their honor by doing a particular type of work soul conscious children always follow the father's orders they have full regard for the father they never become angry or disobey the father they do not have attachment to their bodies they make everything of theirs prosper to having remembrance of shubhaba they would not dream anything so no one is unique like the innocent lord am shanti out of the whole big world you can say bharat in particular and europe in general because bharat is an ancient land anyway you understand that there was originally just bharat those of all religions know that they all came one after another bharat existed before them this is something to be understood you children understand that bharat truly is ancient at that time bharat was very wealthy and so it was called heaven at this time no human being apart from your children knows the father you to only know him number wise according to the efforts you make therefore everyone can understand for themselves that they don't know the animated father they call out to him and perform devotion but none of them knows the father's biography it is son father shows son son shows father now your children have to show the father the father cannot show himself the father does not go outside your children have to give the father's introduction you understand that the unlimited father is also the creator of heaven if they were to know him they would be amazed and wonder why although they are the children of god they are unhappy and in the iron age you also have to ask this question the first question to ask is what is your relationship with the supreme father the supreme soul those who ask definitely have to know the answer no one else ask because no one else knows you can ask anyone commonly everyone says that god is omnipresent however there is no meaning to omnipresence they call him the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness there has to be one who removes sorrow and gives happiness if you touch on the subject even a little they would understand that there was nothing but happiness in golden age now there is nothing but sorrow therefore the father must surely have removed everyone's sorrow this is something very easy to understand you know understand that you belong to the parlokic mother and father those things of knowledge exist here they don't exist in the golden age there there is neither knowledge nor ignorance there there is no one who can give knowledge they have already achieved the reward through knowledge you are now receiving the reward through knowledge number wise according to the efforts you make it requires a lot of effort to become soul conscious only those who remain engaged in doing shubhabat service can become soul conscious when someone has body consciousness that fragrance is gone from that person you can tell that a person is body conscious from that one's activities those who are soul conscious are very sweet and lovely we are all brothers children of the one father 
we are also brothers and sisters both followed Srimad accurately. It isn't that one followed Srimad and that the other one makes excuses and sits down. The father cannot call anyone who doesn't follow his Srimad, his tribe. Externally, he may say child, child. Internally, he understands that so and so is disobedient and also what status he would claim. Both Bab and Dada can understand when someone is not following Srimad that it is because of body consciousness that he is not following Srimad. Those who are soul conscious are very sweet. The stylish world is so bitter. Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters are all so bitter. Here too, those who are body conscious are bitter. You are now becoming soul conscious. Some have just reached the Tamo stage from being Tamo Pradhan and only that extremely has been removed. Others have reached the Rajo stage. Only a few have reached the Sato stage. It isn't that you will gradually reach that stage. For how long will you continue to move along slowly? Those who are soul conscious I'm not body conscious about doing any particular type of work, thinking that they would lose their honor by doing that. When you were in Pakistan, Baba also did all types of work in order to teach you children so that you didn't have body consciousness about anything. By your becoming body conscious, everything is destroyed and all truth is lost. You then fall even further down than those outside who are to become subjects. Of the subjects, those who become wealthy will also have mates and servants. Here, you go and become mates and servants. Those wealthy ones are better than you. Everything has to be done with the intellect. It is understood that those who do not become children, who simply become very good helpers, become very wealthy. They don't need to have a job. Here you have to work for others. Then perhaps at the end you will receive your fortune of a crown. Both types have to experience punishment. Only enlightened children are able to understand these things. Those who are ignorant are body conscious. Their behavior is such. It is then understood that such ones are of no use. Here, your children have to follow Srimad. Otherwise, Maya will deceive you a great deal. You quickly become body conscious. It takes effort to finish body consciousness and to become soul conscious. Those who stay here have the company of Brahmins. The world outside is very bad. When you are in knowledge, you have to have such first class company that you are completely colored by that one. By having the company of those who are body conscious, you become completely impure. Then you don't even follow others. Baba says, if you come and ask me, I would instantly tell you whether you are obedient or not. There are very good children, naturalized according to their efforts. They continue to please the heart. There is a lot of unhappiness and violence in the world. There is a lot of bloodshed. It is called a forest of thrones. You have moved away from that. You are now at confluence age. This is in your intellects. We live at home with our families while at the confluence age. We are now continuing to become flowers from thrones. We are moving away from thrones. Only you are religious in this world. That too is numberless according to your efforts. Those who don't even know the father are irreligious, religious and irreligious, Pandavas and Kauravas. The Pandavas didn't have a physical war. We have an incognito war with Maya that no one knows about. If we don't remember the father, we become slapped by Maya and storms come. The father says, your faces are now on that side and your feet are on this side. You should always continue to remember the new world. You have to live at home with your families. The Pharisees, the stage of those who live at home, 
with their families is better than those who are free from bondage. Not all can be the same. They are memberized. In a school, too, not everyone claims the same number. This is an unlimited school. The father is concerned about the children at all the centers. This is called having a broad and unlimited intellect. You will have broad and unlimited intellects when you remember the father. The intellects of your children have now become broad and unlimited. You know about the incorporeal world, the central region, the corporeal world, and how the whole cycle turns. This is known as having a broad and unlimited intellect. Human beings have limited intellects. Your intellects are becoming unlimited. Therefore, your children have to become very sweet. The more sweet and perfect you become now, the more imperishable that will become in the future. You should check that you don't have any body consciousness. If you say no to doing anything, it is understood that you have body consciousness. In the golden age, you are all soul conscious. You know that you have to shed an old body and take a new one. Here, people cry so much. They have body consciousness. They love their bodies a great deal. For you children, it is as though this world doesn't exist. You came bodiless and you have to return bodiless. The unlimited father is teaching you children. So you should have so much regard for him. Monkeys don't have regard for anyone. They would even howl at elephants. The father would not call those children who are better inside worthy. He would say those living outside are better than they are. At least they have regard. This is also said to be in the drama. Today someone is moving along very well and tomorrow there are storms of Maya. They don't understand that they are being influenced by storms. Even senior ones are affected by storms. Nevertheless, it is said to be in the drama. We are claiming our inheritance from Shibaba. When you forget this, everything is spoiled. Everything will prosper by being eating everything from Shibaba's Bandara and Stranger Store. If you forget that, one, your apron became empty. You will also claim an ordinary status among the subjects. There will be a lot of punishment. If you leave, means this yajna, you make the intellects of others have doubt. Bhava feels mercy for he cannot tolerate Maya attacking your children. The master teaches you a great deal. Remain unshakable and immovable. If you don't remain like this, Bhava understands that. You haven't yet reached the silver age state. He is amazed because of not having full knowledge and because of not having yoga with Shibaba. They fall. They have so many types of storm, ascending and descending continuous all the time. If you fall down, you have to get up and become alert. We are only concerned with Shibaba. No matter what happens, we have to clean our inheritance from Shibaba. Mama and Baba also claim it from him. You have to remember him alone and listen to his moodly. Where else would you go? There is only this one shop. You cannot receive liberation and liberation in life without coming here. Anyone has to come in front of the father. Yes, those who are in bondage and die in remembrance of Baba can also claim a good status because they died in remembrance of Baba. Their status would be higher than those who live here and are disobedient due to body consciousness. That is their great fortune. There is no other difficulty on this path of knowledge. It is very easy. Here, you have to become soul conscious a great deal. Many stay in a lot of body consciousness. Bhava doesn't tell you anything else but internally he feels mercy in his heart. You receive your livelihood for your bodies from Shibaba's Bhandara. And yet, you do not take care of the Yajna at all. So, what status will you claim? You have to take care of this Yajna a great deal. Wherever centers are established, they are Shibaba's Yajna. 
for this yajna you just need three square feet of land that's all even if someone is old and unable to explain anything he can call other brothers and sisters just set up a small room and put up a board that is an act of great charity it is now the iron age and destruction is just ahead you definitely have to claim your inheritance of heaven from the father you receive your inheritance of heaven at the confluence age when the old world is destroyed and the new world is established you receive your inheritance at the confluence age and it then becomes imperishable for the future you can explain a great deal you simply need three square feet of land that's all even if you uplift one or two that is great fortune you have given them just the one mantra man manabhav simply say remember the father and your final thoughts will lead you to your destination the father is giving you the treasures of heaven you heard that and it sat in your intellects and you became worthy of going to heaven the one who gives you the space also receives a right everything that baba tells you it's so easy show others the way to the land of happiness even if they simply become subjects that too is good they will continue to become number wise three square feet is very well known and through it you became the masters of the world the subjects will also say that they are masters of the world this building was also three feet of land was it not everything here begin with three feet of land there was just a small place and it then gradually begin to grow many such people will come to home baba will say what will you do with your money he gives you very good advice simply buy three feet of land and open 10 to 15 colleges and hospitals rent a building in your town all of this is to be destroyed rather than that if you open 10 to 15 centers many will be benefited and you will become very wealthy you can open this college in a very small space you simply have to become sticks for the blind and show them the path you have to awaken everyone remember the father and your inheritance and your boat will go across there is no question of any other expense etc you will claim an unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father it is very easy to explain acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and not found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dhatna first point keep the company of first class enlightened souls become soul conscious remain far away from the company of body conscious people second point serve the yajna with a lot of love and an honest heart become very lovely and sweet show yourself to be worthy do not be disobedient about anything blessing may you become full of knowledge virtues and powers and donate them as a great donor explanation be a great donor and donate one or another power virtues or drugs of knowledge to the souls who come into contact or relationships with you the spiritual meaning of donating is to give cooperation you have the treasure of knowledge and also the treasures of powers and virtues they can fill up all the three not just of one no matter what a soul is like even if he insults or defames you donate virtues to him with your attitude and your stage slogan those who are under the influence of the one father cannot be influenced by any other souls om shanti